glad I found you. I need your help. You okay? Yeah, sure, why? Look, if this has anything to do with that thing with you and Gigi, just know that I'm I am... Pregnant. What? Yeah. Wow. You and John are gonna have a baby. That's great! Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's great. I just, I was a little worried about how... how John would feel after losing a baby such a short time ago. Right. You think it might take him a while to get on board with the idea? No. No, I mean, he's, he's, he's good. He wants the baby. So what's the problem? Me. Oh, hey. Can I get you? Uh, I'll have a beer, I guess. Bottle or draft? I don't care. Is everything all right? No, Gigi, everything's not all right. And you know why. I don't understand. You're not happy about the baby. So are you telling me this baby's mine? I don't... I don't know anything. The truth is, this baby could just as easily be yours as it could be John's. It was uh, just a really big surprise, that's all. John and I hadn't talked about having a baby, and then it just happened. You know, and I, I guess I just thought that when I had a baby, it was going to be the right time, and everything, everything would be right. Okay, well, that's a nice idea, but it doesn't always work out that way. Yeah, but it, it's scary enough trying to have a baby when you're prepared for it, but when you're not... Okay, first of all, I don't think anybody's ever really prepared for how their life's going to change when they bring a baby into the world. But some surprises turn out to be the best thing that ever happens to you. And I will make sure to tell Shane you said that. Besides, it's not like you don't have any experience with it. I do. Well, you took care of me when I was a baby. Before <laughs> Roxy shipped me off to live with Aunt Corinne. Yeah, that was a long time ago, and I don't think anyone expected me to know what I was doing back then. I think it's going to be a little different now. Come on, you're a natural. No, I'm not. I'm overwhelmed. Is that why you waited so long to tell people? Even brother-type people? I just... It didn't, it didn't feel right. And no matter what John says, I, I still think there's a big part of him that's grieving for the baby he lost. John's a lucky man. To have a baby on the way? He has you, not putting any pressure on him, being sensitive to what he went through with Marty. It's very cool. Uh, no, please don't give me so much credit. I mean, I'm, I'm flying blind right now. Half the time, I don't even know what I'm doing or why. Hey, cut yourself some slack. You want to tell me somebody who's not overwhelmed right now? I mean, raising a child, it's like the biggest job there is. Yeah, exactly. No pressure or anything. When you start thinking too much, you freak out. So here's the drill. I want you to pick up your phone, text me the word help, I will read it, and come running. You got it? I got it. I love you. I love You're you too, person. babe. Yeah. <sighs> Why am I supposed to know what you're talking about? Natalie told me she filled you in about the whole thing. You about the night she came to the right place, about what we did. Now it's too damn easy for that to be the night that she got pregnant. Okay. Okay, what? Okay, I know you guys slept together and that there's a chance, an outside chance, that the baby could be yours. So, do you know what I'm supposed to do about it? Because I sure as hell don't. This is killing me, Gigi. It's killing Natalie, too. She knows how much you love Jessica, how much you deserve not to have a worry in the world right now. She deserves the same thing with John, to just be happy. She debated and debated about even telling you. She finally decided that she had to be honest. So where do we go from here? Well, hopefully nowhere. If it is John's baby, that'll be the end of it. And until we know? Until then, you stay focused on Jessica and the baby you're having with her. At least that's one thing you can be sure about.